a conducting liquid bubble of radius a and thickness t where t much much less than a is charged to potential v if the bubble collapses to a droplet find the potential on the droplet so here it says the potential of the bubble is v so we can write v is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon 0 a here q is the total charge now we have to find out the potential of the droplet so we have to find out the radius r so the volume of the droplet 4 by 3rd pi r q will be equal to the volume of the bubble 4 by 3rd pi a plus t third q minus 4 by 3rd pi a q so we can write r q is equal to a q plus t q plus 3 a square t plus 3 a t square minus a q so r q is equal to we can cut a q cancels out and here t is very small so we can neglect the t square and t cube term so r q is equal to 3 a square t and r is equal to 3 a square t to the power one third so this is the expression for the radius of the liquid drop now the potential of the liquid drop v drop liquid drop is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon 0 r now we know that r is equal to 3 a square t to the power one third and we would already know that v the potential of the bubble is q by 4 pi epsilon 0 a so q equal to 4 pi epsilon 0 a v and now put the value of q here 4 pi epsilon 0 a v divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r that is 3 a square t to the power one third so the 4 pi epsilon 0 term cancels and v equal to a divided by 3t to the power one third so this is the potential of the liquid drop